Hello, hello! Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. I'm Katara Kaylin, and I forgot to start the music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh gosh, that's really loud, isn't it? Wait, how loud is that for you guys? Okay, for you guys, it's fine. It's just quiet for me. I mean, loud for me. Whatever. Words. It's fine. I was kind of rushing to get the stream set up today because it was a little bit of a, hey, I could do this sort of thing. Um, sure, I'll use a napkin as a mouse pad today. Ha ha ha, that's fine. Why not? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So first hand cam with first hand cam with the new desk location. Yay! Also look at my fingernails. Ooh, pretty yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean this hand's blank. But I had some fun with this one. I did them over a week ago and they're still pretty good. Starting to chip a little bit, but you know, not too bad. Not too bad. So, oh my gosh, I am just, I'm hitting everything. I am a mess. I am a disaster today. But what we are going to be doing today, if I can get my garbage can out of the way, because my foot is hitting it. That is not, that is not a comfortable spot. Okay. What, what is going to be happening today is that I'm going to be making tiny Christmas ornaments. I have wire here, but... I'm going to be making them for a super tiny little Christmas tree and attaching them to these tiny little uh, earring hooks as the hooks for the ornaments. So I thought that was going to be pretty cute. Uh, something that was brought up to me right before I, well, as I was trying to get stuff set up, is that it would help. If I had like a little piece of metal going into the ornament that I could then attach the clay to with a little loop on the end. So I have this very thin wire here and I think just I should kind of start off by, by just making those little loops. So some of these songs are going to be really quiet, huh? Oh, this one in particular is just real quiet. Oh well. Anyway, I got some jewelry ply jewelry pliers here. And we're just gonna start off with that. And I'm not gonna make these too big. I just want to give them a little bit of shape. And then, should we attach them to the earring hooks now or later? I'm thinking later. Okay. I'll leave that for this one. So it's just like that. You know, maybe we should just test one out first before I go and make a whole bunch. And then realize, oh no, these won't actually work. So the plan is to kind of make them like fingernail size. So fingernail size. Or thumbnail size. I'm using my own thumbs. That's that's the thing. And I'm gonna put these back in the box. Except for one. You can keep one out. But I'm putting the rest in the box for now. And so I think we should probably start with something really simple as the test. So we got all the colors from last time, a little hard to see them in the bag, but we have all the ones I mixed and then all the little base colors and I found more white. Um, it looks a lot cleaner than it is. It's kind of loose in the box. And as you can tell from the box, this stuff is so old. It is ancient. I dug this up just out of a drawer 
So this gives you an idea of what we are working with and what we were working with last time. It's old. It looks old. Yeah, we're going to see how well it works, but given that the stuff worked last time, I have pretty high hopes. Oh, I also found what I think is red. Just red Sculpey clay, I think. I don't actually know. So we might make something with this today. And then I go to bake it. And it fails horribly. That could very easily happen. Because I don't know if this is actually Sculpey clay or not. Or polymer clay. But it's Christmas. I need red. So we're going to be using it. Red and white. Those are going to be our two primary colors today. Um, But I think the very first one we're going to make is a gingerbread man because that was suggested and I think it would make a super heckin' cute ornament. So we're going to do that. Hello! Welcome, welcome! You don't even know what you're looking at. Um, a hand cam stream. What else would you be looking at? You know, gingerbread is more of like a tan color, right? So I should probably add a little bit of tan. Yeah. We're going to be making gingerbread. A little gingerbread ornament. Oh, actually, I think this little brown here is hard to see in the plastic, but I think that's the right color. Oh, the red thing? Uh, I think it's clay. I hope it's clay. I hope. I don't know if it is. I I just I hope it is. Yeah. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna think about what the what the alternative is for that. Cause I found it in a drawer. <laughs> and that's always a scary thought, isn't it? Jeez, let's stay. Alright, the desk is just gonna be an absolute disaster, but it's fine. It's the creative process, right? Okay, come on, no little round blob. Okay, I guess a little bit of you got left on the blue. That's that's fine. That's cool. Uh I guess it's more like a it's fine too. I wish the light in here wasn't quite so yellow, but I might have to change out the bulbs for later hand games. I'm sorry, Flo. You got scammed. You got scammed. I forgot to. I know I was forgetting something. Oh my gosh. Anna wants to update. No, no, we are not updating right now. Not while on stream. Ha 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 ha. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I'll redeem your points too, because... Yeah, thank you. Where do I do those again? Right there. Okay. Copium failed. Okay. All right, you get your points back. You're welcome. <laughs> I say that as if I am, as if I'm not the one who caused the issue in the first place. Okay. I think that's all we need out of this bag for now. I also. I stole a new tool today, so it's just, just a little glass block. Can I see my reflection in here? Oh, I can. Hello. I'll have to be a little careful about that then. I'm not going to repot too much. But I think the lighter brown for gingerbread, right? So maybe, gosh, is this even going to be big enough? I'm thinking I actually might need more. 
Okay, enjoy lurking, enjoy your food flow. <laughs> oh, you're right, it did break again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. You were just the glitch finder. Congratulations. Oh, and as always, please let me know if the music is too loud, too quiet. Just, yeah, let me know. Okay. Just pinch off a little bit of this. I'll probably need to make it a little bit more red. I feel like that much should be good, right? You're good. TV hears one too loud. Okay. Nice, nice. I understand when you have people in the house who like the TV to be really loud. It's like, can you please turn it down? <laughs> I can't hear anything past the TV. But then when you're actually in the TV room, sometimes it feels like a you just can't hear anything because the characters are mumbling. I think that's the worst. There we go. Okay, this looks like a pretty good gingerbread color. I really want to make a gingerbread house this year. I think it would be super fun to build one on stream. I would just have to figure out probably better setup. I mean, I could probably just raise the camera up a bit more, but... Oh, specifically, this one seems full panic and loud. Oof. I understand. That is unfortunate. There we go. From dark to not so dark. Oh, camera. I think this is a good gingerbread color. We'll start with this. Okay, so let's just start with the head. Just press it down. Oh wow, okay, that's huge for a head. But, ah oh man, that works great. Yeah, just a wonderful little circle there. Maybe we can trim this down and turn it into the body. I even brought a knife this time, ha <laughs> ha! Do not be afraid. It is merely a knife. Well, okay. I'm changing my mind again of how I want to do this. I'm gonna do that a lot. Because making flat things is kind of harder than making 3D things. At least in my opinion. And we just have a circle. I think it's pretty good.
also with the repeating Christmas song skit annoying. I can change back to my other BGM. I just really want Christmas music. Specifically, I was really wanting Nintendo Christmas music, but I'm always terrified of playing anything copyrighted. Especially because Nintendo's a scary company. Like, Nintendo is terrifying. I don't want to draw their ire, even if so many other people will just happily use their stuff. But I am... I am scared of Nintendo. I'm scaredy cats. Is that gonna be an okay gingerbread man? It looks so wonky. It's like the saddest little gingerbread man cutter. Alright, let's try and at least cut him out. You guys probably can't really see much. Here. That's what he looks like right now. Very sad. Very... Very derp. Very derp. <laughs> That's okay. He's the test subject, right? I'm looking forward to more Skyrim tomorrow. I... I ended up playing more. <laughs> I ended up playing quite a bit more on that other save that I started. The randomized one. And then I realized, you know what? I think I've played too much. I can't play this again on stream. So, I'm making a new character. So that'll be tomorrow, and I'm going to attempt the the um, I don't really want to call it a speed run, but the challenge again where I go from well to try and make it to all the major cities. I'm gonna be doing that again tomorrow. Um, I have a plan to make it go better. I am not gonna shy away from using carriages this time. Because I think a huge part is that I did not find lockpicks for so long. Like, there was that one lockpick from the dude. But other than that, I couldn't find any. Well, okay, not quite any any, but, you know. I really want to find, like, a major city and then just go through all those doors see if I can find any other major cities or even towns connecting to it and just try and go from city to city that way because I think that's going to be a lot more effective than doing any dungeon crawling and then I was also thinking that that would be really if the character turns out okay which I made her last night last night yesterday I made her yesterday so she is ready to go I got the randomizer all set up. And believe it or not, I was actually playing on stream of that yesterday, except my little sister came over! I was... I haven't seen her in so long. And I forgot that she was coming over yesterday. But it was great seeing her. She has so many just wild stories. She's... she's a gremlin, and I love her so much. She's the type of person who, if you say, fight me, or if she says fight me, she will actually fight you. She's crazy, and I love her so much. There we go. Okay, you know what? This isn't as bad as I thought. She doesn't know I stream yet, but I do think one day it'd be super fun to have her on stream and just have her tell stories. Just basically interview her about her craziest interactions. She just has so many. Just so many. <laughs> And she's also getting married next 
uh, next year and I'm so excited and I am going to do her cake. I already told her as much, but I am doing her cake. She does not get a say in the matter. It's going to be fantastic. And I might even decorate on stream because I think that'd be a ton of fun. Because I'm heckin' assuming I'm going to be streaming it still in a year. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll even be in an agency by then. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe then I'd actually, you know, make a half decent amount of cash from this. Then I could actually make it a job. Wow. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be neat. I would love to just be able to do this with you guys all the time. Okay. I'm just smoothing out the edges right now, trying to make Genji look good. I need to remember to not lean over the table, even though that is my natural state. Okay. So arms are looking pretty good. They're a little derpy, but what gingerbread isn't a little derpy, right? Okay, so there's a little ginger guy. I think he's pretty cute. So, what colors should we do for the rest? Because I always think of like white frosting on a gingerbread man. Sorry, I just realized my face was being blocked. If the camera can't see my face, then you guys can't see my face no. And that's no good. As I adjust so that my face can no longer be seen by the camera again. Wow. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Ah. Stay. Stay. Oh, okay. Another consideration is he is going to be double sided. Should he only have a face on one side or should he have a face on both sides? Is it going to be two-faced, like, have a happy face on one side and then, like, a frowny or angry face on the other? Like, maybe crying? Wouldn't that be cute? I think that'd be cute. Oh, and then we could also make, like, a little kitty cat gingerbread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that idea. Okay, napkin. The napkin. I just realized I can't see the timer again. It's only been half an hour, would you believe that? I would. Because time just goes by so heckin' fast. Okay. Half an hour. <laughs> you know, people probably see see my tiny little sculpting streams just in the preview and go it's so small I can't see anything uh, why would I watch this when there's when you can't see anything right okay I am thinking just pure white well should we pure white for the details or like an off-white because I mean, obviously pure white is good, but I feel like it might be a little bit too bright because most frosting isn't actually pure white. Kaylin, welcome, welcome. And yes, quaffs. We are quafting today. Obviously the peach is too peachy. So maybe like just a tiny little dot. So yeah, I'm thinking like 
a a happy side and then a frowny side. Just to make them all cute. Okay. <laughs> Who knows how many of these I'm actually going to be able to make today. I was really wanting to just make enough so that I could cover Owl's entire tree in them. But at the same time, it's like I don't make stuff very fast. These are also tiny. Metamorph. <laughs> Uh, metamorphosis. Good day. Good day. How are you doing? Okay. I think we just start with the eyes, just tiny little dots, and then make a super thin little cord, coil, whatever. Whatever we're calling it. For the mouth. So, just... Slicing that off. Oh no, I had some brown. I had some brown on the knife. Oh no! Okay. Alright, let's try those. I'm going to try something that I saw somebody else did. You know, it's just a long way of saying big change, so you can just call me Meta. Okay. I will happily call you Meta then. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I see the brown in this one. You guys might not be able to see it on camera, but. Yeah, so there's a tiny little brown dot in there. I just don't want that showing, so I'll need to make a new one. If I blended in, it would be fine, but... Just because of how small we are working... I just... No Mars. No weird little bits. If it was bigger, it wouldn't matter nearly as much. Eh. No, get off. Off, off, off. Okay. Well, I was hoping I was going to stick to the glass, but it... Or acrylic. It's acrylic. But it didn't, so we will just have to... Try to not. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it off. Okay, Genji. Oh my gosh, that eye is so big. Look how huge that eye is on him. Uh, no, it's it's too big. I'm gonna do half. Sculpting is up there with surgery in regards to precision. Both need outrageously still hands. Sure can. I'm not sure about the still hands part, but it is important to try to be as accurate as possible. You know, it's probably a good thing I didn't get coffee today. I'm already feeling jittery. Throwing stuff everywhere. Oh, good. Okay, this time I actually stuck to the acrylic. If you can see that tiny little dot on there. I'm just gonna pick up Genji so you guys can see. Okay, I just need to do this down here. I was going to try and do it where you guys could see easier, but no. <laughs> okay. No, 
All right, eye number one. I hope that's in a good spot. So there's eye number one. Elemental, welcome, welcome. Kringlemas? Kringlemas, huh? That's a new one. Oh no. Okay, good. It's stuck to the acrylic. Right there, I think. Okay. So there are our little eyes. Crimbo. Crimbomus. Gonna smooth out his head again. It got a little weird. I think it's kind of funny how a nail, like just a legitimate normal nail, is one of my favorite tools when sculpting. It's so silly, but it works so well. Like it's got a point, it's smooth. It's just fantastic. Okay, I don't think he should have, well, should he have pupils? It'd be pretty cute. Maybe we should do his little dots first. Like his little uh, shirt dots. Or the mouth. The mouth, the mouth. Mouth should be first. All right, time to get a stupidly tiny coil again. And then we'll use the same coil for the other side. Let's see, maybe about there. Tiny smile. Tiny smile, right? Tiny smile. And then just roll it out again, make sure that the ends are even ish. So that's what we're working with right there. That tiny little sliver. You know what really does feel like I'm just I'm performing surgery on these tiny things. Okay. Oh no, it's going off his face. Okay. <laughs> I actually might have made this too big. I thought it was too small, but I think it's too big. I'm gonna need to cut down even more. There's my napkin. Just try and get the extra white off. I think probably about half. Yeah, let's do half. Attempt number two. Just gonna shape it a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. I said shape you a little bit. And because I did put it in half, it means I can use the other side for his other half, his other face, his other side. Ah! No, off. not saying oh oh no his his mouth is getting all weird okay maybe I can take off the tiny little bit that got on there 
And I just realized I got the other piece of white on my finger. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. Easy enough to take off. Okay. There's this little face. It's a little, it's a little funky, but he cute. He's, he's a little wonky. It's okay. The little guy's allowed to be a little wonky. There we go. Smooth out his... He really loves, like, very challenging games. He loves Souls Likes, especially. There's one called Thamesia. I think it's Thamesia. It's something like that, anyway. Where you play as, like, a plague doctor. It's, it's a really cool one. It's a much shorter Souls Like. But. He seemed to really enjoy it. Okay, I think these are like the perfect size. A circle, please. Okay, I don't think I really want a circle, but that's okay. Okay. 
I think he's a very basic little gingerbread man. I think he's super cute. And then happy! Alright. So... Now he needs buttons. Now, should the buttons... Should they be white? Maybe we'll just do all of it white on him. And then if we make another little gingerbread, um, then we can do different colors. I think that'd be good. I do want them to be super small. So I do need to make sure that I don't make these dots too big. I'm thinking probably just three buttons per side. Oh yeah, grabbing a knife this time was such a good idea. Last time I was using my really dull pottery knife. And that just doesn't work as well as the exacto. Like the sharp side of that one is the dull side of this. And I lost a dot. I don't know where it went. Oh, now we got through the playlist. And I forgot to set it to repeat. <laughs> yeah, this is this is fine. I'm sure we won't get sick and tired of the same songs. We'll repeat. Not even quite every hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm probably going to be doing more Christmas hand cams just because there are more things I want to make. Or more hand cams before Christmas, I should say. Look how tiny those are. They're so small. So heckin' small. Why must I love working with super tiny things? <laughs> it makes it hard to show you guys what I'm actually doing. Because you just see, like, like, these tiny little things. And everything else just blends completely into the dust. It's like, I swear it's here. It's on my finger. It's just so hard to see. Okay, I'm thinking three dots for each side. I think I made seven little dots here. So. Okay, and they are very small. Okay, not, not gonna get unwanted parts on camera this time. Uh oh, oh no! I accidentally pressed the acrylic into him, like into his little flesh, gingerbread skin. Burrito! Welcome, welcome, Mary Chrysler. Ah, yes, merry cars! Steven, welcome, welcome! So, for anybody who's just tuning in, uh, today I'm making- oh my gosh, okay, maybe just two, because... Yeah, no, we're only doing two buttons. Um, I'm making tiny little Christmas ornaments for Owl's Tree! Look at that! Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Okay. And now for his friendly side. Yeah, I think two buttons is perfect. And unfortunately, they are not gumdrop buttons. But maybe next time. Okay, well, that didn't stick to the acrylic. That's okay, though. Oh, gosh. And that one got super deformed. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm very glad I made extras because these ones are not cooperating. Oh, it's from a vine? From when that was the thing? I don't know if I saw that one. There were so many good vines. I know TikTok is kind of the spiritual successor, but... 
It's not the same. It's just not the same. Granted, I never actually really used Y. I mean, I never really used Vine myself. I just saw compilations on YouTube. Oh, yes, yes, send it to me. Yes. I will happily watch that after stream. Okay. I do believe with this, Genji's complete! Yes, thank you. Okay. So we have one. The only thing is that his eyes do look very dead. Especially on the happy side. Like, funny enough, his eyes look better on the sad side well, than on the happy side. And I find that very funny. They're just, they're too big. They're too big on the happy side. You know, maybe he just ate too much sugar. He's a little bit of a cannibal. It's okay, we won't tell Saint on him. Okay. I think he was a great little test subject. And then, once I get him all baked up, I'm going to go ahead and attach this little earring thing. So then, when he gets hung on a tree, he'll just dangle, and it'll be super cute. So it's just the little earring hooks. I have a ton of them, and I think this is great use. It should be really easy to put them on the tree. All right, let me clean up these tiny little dots you guys can't see. Heck, it's small. Small. Okay. The white is put aside. And now... How about the strawberry? How about the strawberry? I'm going to pull up a picture of the Celeste strawberry. Because... I think that would just be so cute to do. All right, so the strawberry. All right, it's just a strawberry with wings on it. Yeah, it is super simple, super cute. Okay. Normally I put the picture up on street. Uh, well, somebody drew this one, so I'm not gonna put that up on stream. I don't want to be accused of stealing somebody's artwork for something as simple as a reference picture for a thing from a game. That'd be that'd be a stupid way to start a Twitter flame war. Okay. And now we pull out the red, the very scary looking red. I want to try turning it into more of a pink rather than this really deep red. So I'm going to add a little bit of white, more specifically, take just a little bit of the red. Yeah, it feels like clay. It feels normal. So I don't know why it was in a, such a scary looking log. Why did I have this in my drawer like this? Why? What is wrong with me? Why do I just have these things? I don't know. I just, I do not know why. <laughs> I just do. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look how like bright that's getting. This must be a very heavily picked Oh my gosh, yeah, it's staining my fingers already. This is a very heavily pigmented clay. Which is great! But it's also gonna stain everything. 
I might have to wash my hands every break just so that I don't contaminate everything else. So I might have to make the strawberry a little bit bigger than the others just so that the wings aren't going to be super fragile. But there we go. I think that's a pretty cute strawberry color. Well, it could be a little bit more pink. Is this going to be big enough? Is this enough red? Uh, well, it is about thumbnail size. And that is the size I'm trying to make these. So, okay, I still see streaks in here too. I'm gonna add a little bit more white. Just a smidgen. Oh my gosh, even just touching that little glob of white, it left red fingerprints. I'll need to make seeds anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. But the contamination is real. Slightly more pink. Make it cute. Why is my camera battery already at 71%? It hasn't even been that long. Okay. And our three minute breaks in four minutes. Got a little bit of time. Okay, I think that's a better strawberry color anyway. Unfortunately, the light in here is very yellow, but that's okay. I do want to get this mixed up well, so that's not streaky. I don't want it to be a streaky strawberry. We need to make sure his clothing can't go out in public like that. I will not be the mother of an indecent strawberry. Okay. Well, uh, it is still slightly marbled. Let's just roll it up and roll it out again one more time. I think that's a pretty good way to mix. Okay. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so red. Okay. That uh, should work. Alright, one little ball. <laughs> and ta-da, it's a strawberry! <laughs> okay, I do need to make... I need to make a wire insert for this one. So... I do not want to get clay all over my pliers. I'm at least gonna try wiping off my hands. Oh my gosh. See, look how red that is. It's crazy. I'm almost wondering if I should add a little bit of yellow and make it slightly more orangey. Or I could just add like a little orange. No, no, this is a pretty good strawberry color. If I make another one, if I make another one, I'll make it a little bit more orange. But I think this is a good start. Well, I don't know. It's more of like a magenta right now. I mean, not magenta? Yeah, magenta. It's kind of magenta. Oops, not camera. Flashlight. There we go. I just want to show you how. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I get like slightly more normal light? Please. Uh, it's it's still very bright. I think I should tone it down a bit more. I've never seen strawberry that color, so yeah. I'm gonna tone it down a bit more. 
I think it's pretty good, but it could be better. Anyway, it is time for a three minute break. So get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do. And I will see you guys in three minutes. If I can find my keys. Okay. Ah. I'm not using my normal mouse. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> see you guys soon. All right, we're back. I know. Oh, well. Okay. I'm going to readjust my chair. Oh, no, no, no. I should be a loop, please. I need you, I need you to be a loop. And then I can bend you. Okay. So right now I'm just making a little hook. I said, I said I'm making a little hook. Camera, please. Camera's not happy. Camera, please. Okay, there we go. So I'm making a little hook. Uh, this is going to go inside the strawberry. Ignore the noises outside. They're inconsequential. Uh, yep, a little hook to go inside the strawberry, and then I'm gonna make another bit on the other hand for the clay to kind of hook onto. 
so probably about here. It's not too big, not too small. Strawberry's a little bigger than the other, so it can have a little bit of a bigger hook. Gosh, I made that real messy. Okay. That's fine, though. It's a bit of a disaster, but we can clean it up. Not a big deal. And if it's a little wonky, it just means strawberry will hold on to it better, right? just a smidgen of orange because I don't know it just it's feeling a little bit too purpley and I don't want to quite add yellow I think orange is going like just tiny tiny smidgen of orange tiny little bit actually even that's too much half that tiny little bit And then probably still more yellow. I mean, more white. It's still just a little too pigmented. I'm just gonna roll out the orange a little bit, so hopefully it merges in a little easier. I just realized I have a setup to play Jingle Bells twice in a row. Oops. <laughs> I swear it's not on purpose. One of them's just jazzy. I just kind of grabbed everything off of the YouTube Media Library. And I'm just kind of rolling with it. I did that this morning. I go right before the stream. Because <laughs> I was running out of time. <laughs> I was very, very tempted to play Stardew. Stardew Valley. Um, winter music. Because I love the music in that game so much. Okay, I'm not sure if that really made a difference. I'm gonna make it a little paler. I feel like it's just too bright still. It's not cute strawberry yet. So we could go for like a very pale yellow for the seeds. Or we could try using the... this kind of like beige color for the seeds. Oh, see, look how nice and pale that's getting. I like that. Actually, maybe I'll add a smidgen of brown in here. I do feel like it's still just a bit too saturated. Well, I mean... Just a bit too pink still. Too pink. You should, I'm trying to make pink. I don't know. I'm not... My words are failing me slightly, but... I think I know what I want. It's just, it's not quite... It's not quite the color I want. I want it to be softer. Get a little bit of that. But more. It is a very light tan. I think I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of actual brown and add that into. Not very much because dark colors are very powerful. So. Trying to be careful. You can always add more colors in. They can't take them back out. <laughs> I 
Okay. It still looks basically the same. Oh no. I might just have to add in even more. It's just, it's not changing. <laughs> I know what's going on Christmas tree. Here we go. So it's like this is the color I'm... Gosh, it's so close actually. Wow, that's really close. Even this is just, it's not quite... I think more like this color would be better for a strawberry. So yeah, let's try adding in more orange. Because, like, this is definitely more orange. I know on camera it looks more orange, but it's, like, more of a salmon color. It's just the lighting I have in here. I'll take better pictures later. <laughs> As always. Um, I will take pictures and upload them to the Discord later. And probably on Twitter as well, so... If you do want to see the finished product products, um, please feel free to either join the Discord server or go follow me on Twitter, and I will happily send updates when I'm all done today. That will be af probably after baking. Just to make sure that, you know, everything actually turned out. And maybe I'll find like a little stand or something to hang them on for now. Darn it. I just realized that the owl's going to see them. Darn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying so hard to make it so he doesn't see them until they're on his tree, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, it's still a bit too bright, but I do like it a little better now. It's still just so bright, though. Okay. We're gonna add more of this, like, beige. And a little bit more orange. Maybe I should just add in straight yellow, but I'm... I'm scared of just adding yellow. ratio of that original red there is in here now. It's gotta be like under 50% now, right? I feel like I've had a lot of other color. Just smearing. Smearing it all together. That's not bad. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I should just go with it. Maybe I should just go with it. No, I really want it to be more orange. Okay, I'm... I'm going for it. I'm adding a big old chunk. Big old chunk of orange. I hope this is a mistake. Well, if it is, I can always just make more, right? I got plenty of color here. strawberries would suit Sefi very well as well would just suit Sefi very well because while they are the symbol of Celeste the game I mean she Sefi is an angle 
she is our precious angle. And she also has a lot of strawberry stuff. Specifically the strawberry throw. So I feel like winged strawberries for an angle would work very well. Okay. <laughs> the ball is growing. It is much bigger than my thumbnail now. Camera, please. Yeah, it's it's a little bigger. I think I like that color more. It's a little closer to this. I think it's probably a good strawberry color now. So. Alright, I think probably just in half. Because that is quite a bit. Quite a bit of clay. I don't think we need to be quite that much. That's still a lot. Okay. How about about half again? Yeah. It's so stuck to my fingers. I'm just gonna have to wipe them off so so I can actually work on details. My goodness. Okay, little strawberries come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, we're also gonna need green. Okay. I think that's a pretty good little strawberry shape to start with. I do feel like it's too big though. We are we are making small things. So small, so tiny, so cute. Everything will be small and tiny and cute. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Things are just sticking to my hands way too much. I gotta wipe them off. I wonder how much clay I'm losing just to the napkin. Like, it can't be that much, but... Gotta be at least some, right? Okay. I was so scared for a moment that I flung something. I hit my table, I heard something go, and I was so scared that, that the strawberry went flinging across my room. I'd be mortified. Mortified, I tell you. Especially if it landed on, on a blanket, or even just on my carpet, like that would suck. Well, I kind of want to make it like a little booty strawberry. Yeah, I could use that tool. I don't like that one as much. Um, here we go. Just like a little knifey guy. I kind of like the strawberries that have shape to them. They just they got little butts. I think it's cute. Little, little booty boys. Okay, maybe it's not as cute, but... Okay, yeah, no. No, never mind. <laughs> Revert. Oh, hello. I think I have an air bubble in there. That wouldn't surprise me, but... Oh well. At least with polymer clay, air bubbles don't really matter. I think. I don't think they do. It's probably fine. Probably. So, I'm not sure if I really want to try placing all of the seats individually this time because that would take so long. But at the same time, my other idea 
is to make a whole bunch of just little tiny dots kind of try and line them up and then roll the strawberry through those and i don't know if that would work either i feel like it would be a little awkward might not look very good okay let's take a look through greens see which green i like the best for the hats Okay, so these are what I have left over from the succulents. I just I got a glob. A cluster, if you will. Maybe something a little bit more blue. Because we do have like this really bright green. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even look very bright on camera. I assure you, this is a bright green. I'm thinking like a bluish green would be good. Maybe like take this one. It's kind of marbled right now, but I could finish just squishing it together. I think that's a pretty good color combo. A little bit darker of a top. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay. But before I do the top, I need to put the insert in. And then make sure I squish the strawberry around it so it doesn't fall out. Which means reshaping the strawberry again! <sighs> oh man, I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Squish, 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 squish. Don't get over the hook. Not over the hoop. Need to have room for the top. Just trying to push it down. Kind of looks like a little cherry right now. It's a little funny. There we go. Maybe like a slightly triangular. Triangular strawberry. Although I feel like I've never seen it. Well, no, no. I've definitely seen triangular strawberries. For sure. Okay. I think that's a pretty good little basic shape. We got the stem in. It's nice and sealed in there, so it shouldn't be coming off. And now... <sighs> now to make this one non-marbled! Yay! <laughs> well, it's not quite as marbled. I think a little bit of texture on the stem is okay. I want to make sure it's cute. And then I still don't know how I want to do the wings. I feel like those are going to be hard. Specifically hard to not break. Because this stuff is not exactly known for stability. Okay. Well, uh, it's a little too dark. It's a little too dark. I'll do about half and then add some white. I'll go ahead and just use this white. Well, I want to be kind of desaturated, so I'm going to add a little bit of this tan. Maybe not that much. Maybe like that. Well, that's kind of pretty. Maybe I'll also make some kind of like 
rolled, marbled sort of looking guys. Oh, have you ever seen like those little icicle little ornaments? Where they're like kind of swirly like this. Unfortunately, I don't have any translucent clay. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day. It might have been even last week. I think it was last week. Yeah, okay. The day doesn't matter. But I was watching somebody make these super cute little Kirby sushi, and they had like this translucent clay that they use for the rice and stuff and the salmon and other fish. So that actually looked like fish. It was it was cool. I think it was I think it dried in the air though. I think it was air dry. Whereas this I have to bake it in an oven. Okay, here we go. I think I like this color. It's just a little bit more desaturated. I think it'll be good. Just kind of cutting it into little strands right now. Just like half and then half again. So that hopefully I can make the tops kind of the same. I don't want them to be too similar. Just because, you know, nothing, nothing in nature is, you know, exactly the same. And I shouldn't be trying to chase that with mine either, because. You know, that's just a fool's errand. Okay, and little tops. Okay. That'll be pretty good, I think. Fun. Oh, if I'll tell. I just thought that I should probably do the seeds first and then do these. Because I think it'll be harder to do the seeds after because then I'd be afraid of squishing the top. So I can't manhandle as much. So I'm just gonna put these aside and. Maybe like slightly yellowy, but like this. Or I can make them slightly more brown, like tiny little brown seeds. I need to look up another picture of a strawberry, like an actual strawberry. Come here, strawberry. I need to see a real one. Okay, so the seeds are kind of dark. Well, it depends on the strawberry. Some of them are very yellow. Some are darker. Like some are more brown, some are yellow. Some are more of like a dark red. Okay. I just grab that image. Oh, it's so small. Oh well. It's fine. It'll be fine. How about I go with darker ones? I think dark would look better. Like slightly yellowy dark seeds. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but 
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh, the camera's already at 65%. What the heck? I feel like it's draining a lot faster than usual. We're just draining faster than usual this time. Maybe not a lot faster, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, with these hand cam streams, I am on the timer. Just cause when, when my phone camera turns off, that's kind of it. Going to the new one. What was the second one? Uh, this is the second one still. Second one is going to be a little strawberry with wings. Um, if you're familiar with the game Celeste, that is what I am attempting to copy. So yeah. Okay, just a little bit of the yellow. It is very bright. So Celeste for you is Christmas? No, I just think Owl would like it. Um, he's a big Celeste fan. And I thought it'd be cute. Maybe not that cool. We'll just use the knife. Good old knife. Just gotta be sure not to stem myself. Yeah! Now that you think about it, you did think you finished on Christmas. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I do not need that much brown for this. These are tiny little seeds. Do not need much. Yeah, Emily Celeste is another one that I just... I tried. It just didn't hook me. Um... I'm just, I'm not that into 2D platformers. Oh, not Christmas Day, but around December. That's okay. I think it's fun when you finish a game, or are playing a game, and you finish it around a specific time of year. And then either when you think back to that game, then you have that association with that time of year, or vice versa. I think it's fun. It's just unfortunate when you get associations between, like, a stupid TV show that was on and, like, homework that you were doing. That's how- that one's happened to me before. You say you tried at how many levels? Um, I didn't- I didn't get very far. I don't think I even got through the, um, like, the city area. You have two main games for Christmas in that case. I mean, it depends. It, it just really depends on what kind of associations you have with them. And if you actually think about them that way. Like for me, I don't really have many associations like that, not for holidays anyway. Oh, normally Christmas is new game equals new finished game. Mmm. I get that. Okay, I'm not loving this. I'm thinking probably more orange. Make just a little bit more reddish. Like, it could work, but... Oh. Come on, camera. Uh, should I try Celeste again? I don't know. I don't know. I have so many other games right now, though. <laughs> I also have Psychonauts 2 that I very much want to play. I hope I can do it on stream. Um, I don't know if my PC can handle it. Less than a thousand deaths is a win. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I could do it under a thousand. I don't know on that one. Celeste is a hard game. I love watching speedrunners, though. They're just... It's crazy. I love watching people who are really high skill play something. It's just it's so much fun to watch. 
best thing if Celeste is when you do the normal ending and go back to the first level and see just how good you've become. Mm. Like, look, behold growth. I do feel like Celeste is one that I would have to really dedicate like a lot of time in succession to. Because unfortunately, I do have a habit of like picking up games and then dropping them and then coming back to them like three months later. And it's like, well, now I don't remember how to play. And with a game like Celeste, I feel like that would be an absolute death knell. Let's see, I think this should be a pretty good color for the scenes. I think that's pretty good. I bet you would finish Celeste in much less time than you think. Uh, I don't know. I know it's not a super long game, but... I don't know. I will... I will put it on the list of games to consider. But... But we've got Skyrim. And I'm sorry, but Skyrim's gonna... Skyrim's gonna take up a lot of time. <laughs> Skyrim really is just one of my top games of all time. And playing with this randomizer mod has been so much fun. Because everything feels fresh. I'm finding locations I just haven't ever been to before. After Lovecorp, you have proven you have the most important thing for gamers. So oh, sure. Hmm. So, Flo, in your opinion, what is that trait, huh? Huh? I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. <laughs> of course, play what you want to play. Don't play a game you don't feel like it. I think I need to make a backlog list. There was another video I watched. Wow, it's almost like I watch a lot of YouTube or something. Uh, there's another video I watched where there's a guy who made a list for his backlog, and he tried to finish it, or at least attempt all the games on it, in one year. And his, his one year later video did just come out. And, oh, what the heck? Blech. Okay, there's something on, something on my desk. And it turns out that the time limit that he sent was kind of the big issue. But he did think that in general, just making a backlog list was very helpful. And I could very much see that being the case for me, too. Especially if I basically have it be a, hey, these are games I should stream backlog list. Pure will to keep banging against the wall until you pass it, of course. <clears throat> Masochism cop. <sighs> uh huh. I had a feeling you were gonna say that, Flo. I had a feeling. I knew it. But before I start too many new games, cough Skyrim, um, I do want to finish Baldur's Gate. As I am still in Act 1. I do really enjoy that one, though. Definitely one I enjoy, but... It's also one where... I feel like you guys don't enjoy it as much. And I want to make sure that when I'm streaming of something that you guys want to be watching. But I just noticed that there's a lot less engagement with Baldur's Gate, so it does kind of take a little bit of a backseat to games I'm a bit more enthusiastic to play. Oh, I just realized my face is getting blocked by the camera again. So, you know, Baldur's Gate will take a few months. Uh, Baldur's Gate will take a few months of only playing that is what it'll take. Now Skyrim, on the other hand, that one could take a while. 
with the randomizer, I really want to see if we can actually beat the game. Like, either find Alduin or just see how much of the main story we can actually complete. Because I think that would be super fun. And then maybe start, you know, just a, a normalish scary playthrough afterwards. Maybe. Eh, but normal's more boring. I mean, when I say normal, I still mean like very modded, of course, but. I personally want to listen to some parts of Baldur's Gate because it's a game you feel one day if you want to play to not know too much. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are kind of in that camp. Like, I was even just watching Sefi stream with it, and she's in Act 3, and I saw things I did not want to see yet. It's like, gosh darn it. Gosh heckin' darn it, I didn't want to see that. <laughs> so... I very much understand why other people wouldn't necessarily want to watch it as well. Even though on Twitch it's always like way the heck up there with viewership or like overall like how many people are streaming it and how many people are watching it but yeah i feel like skyrim's just a lot safer of a game if that makes sense because like nobody cares about the story oh no skyrim spoilers spoilers for a game that came out 10 years ago oh man Gotta, gotta watch out for those. Versus Baldur's Gate where, you know, it takes a long time to get through it. Not everybody has gone through it. Yeah, Skyrim is much more side quest than anything. Exactly. Skyrim is side quest. <laughs> There's technically main story, but the real appeal is just going through and exploring. And just finding all those weird caves, and all those side stories, and all the books. My goodness, all the books. I did install a mod that adds even more books. And you guys can bet that with this playthrough, I'm going to be collecting all the books. Because I intend for this next character, unless it, unless it takes me like stupidly long to get through the challenge again. I really don't think it'll take 10 hours again. I think that was just because I was taking my time and I was more enjoying the randomizer than anything. That it took so long. But I have a plan. And part of the plan does involve getting lucky. But even if we don't get lucky, I think I can get to a sort of outer town and then kind of kickstart the game with that. I don't think it'll be too hard. I just have to find a town and then hopefully find a major city from a town. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Is that enough seeds? I don't think so. More seeds. And end out more seed. All right, books. Um, I am very much planning on trying to collect all of the books and read all of the books with you guys because I think that would just be a ton of fun. <laughs> Shocking! It's almost like reading is one of my favorite pastimes. Crazy, I know. You know, I don't think you. Could I don't think you guys ever would have guessed that, right? Maybe I should just start calling myself a bookworm VTuber. All right, we are no longer cat. I'm now worm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, I know, such a huge shock. Huge shock. 
You know, I probably should put that in my description. <laughs> like, welcome! Yeah, I will read every single scrap of paper put in front of me. You have been warned. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. I think that'd be a great description. <laughs> Leave now if you don't like lore. <laughs> exactly, for the lore! It's all for the lore. I'm sure we'll find the book again, but when I was doing a little bit of solo Skyrim, I found a book called Tales of a Khajiit Fur Trader. Believe it or not, it is a Khajiit who was a fur trader, but he he trades in pelts of Khajiit. I don't think that's much of a spoiler because, you know, it's a single book in the game. We'll find it again. Ah, oh, yes, yes, I do need to play Outer Wilds. I do have it. Well, I have access to it. I will. I will. I swear I will. I think it... I really want to save it for a Friday game. So I think Outer Wilds is going to have to wait until after we finish Library. Don't see anything about the game, just play it. I know, I know. I've been avoiding spoilers. I didn't even watch my Oshi play it because I wanted to play it just firsthand by myself. So. I am waiting. That one's going to be the next Friday game. So as soon as we finish Library, it will be Outer Wilds. Next year. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be next year. <laughs> Um, if Lob Corp was anything go by, it'll probably be like March by the time we finally get around to it. Gosh. Why must Project Moon games take so long to get through? I mean, it's mostly my fault, but... Ugh. Okay, let's see if that's enough seeds. I feel like I made a lot. Soon you say? I never said anything about soon. I very much said nothing about soon. Alright, I'm just starting off by playing a little holes. Just so I have a little spots to put the seeds in. Try to have them even-ish. I definitely don't have to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, definitely not soon. I really wonder how much longer Library of Ruin is going to take me. Uh, okay, I also really need to get VODs uploaded to YouTube. I've been so bad about that lately. I... I am very far behind on those. I have... I have broken my promise to you guys about making sure that the VODs were always up somewhere. Because there are some that are no longer available on Twitch. That I have not gotten released on YouTube yet, so I am very sorry about that. I do need to... I will fix that this week. For sure. I will fix that this week. When this week? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I will fix it this week. And then if anybody wants to watch me play Turn of Blade commits tax evasion, they can again! Yay! Oh my gosh, there's so many seeds that are going to go on here. I don't think I made enough. I don't think I made enough. I think I need about that many. I do think 
like it's looking pretty strawberry-like so far, at least. Since you haven't finished, you can only estimate, but you would say you're around 35% of the time you need to finish Library of Ruina. Maybe more like 30%? Yeah, probably! Given how Lobcorp went, that sounds pretty accurate! Especially since the others were saying like, Oh, congrats on finishing the tutorial! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! <laughs> Ten sessions in! Well, I just now finished the tutorial! Oh boy! It's fine. Life is pain. I don't think I'll be... I really don't think I'll be going to Limbus Company afterwards. I just... I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Especially because of Scotcha. I don't, I don't care if it's like kind gotcha or whatever. I can't do more gotcha. It is very much a never again thing for me. And I was poking Neopets again last night to see like, oh, is this something I should do on stream again? Because I didn't really get through everything. And I would like to get through more, more Neopets, more of the lore, looking through all that fun stuff. At the same time, though, the website is so broken. It's just so broken in so many places. Oh, that was a really big seed. I'm definitely going to have to make more seeds. Uh, I should have known that the strawberry was going to take a long time. Well, so far, the ones I have in there aren't too bad. It looks a little diseased, but oh well. Maybe I should have gone more yellow. This is not too late. Uh, should I swap to yellow? I don't really want to do that. Just because then means I have to roll out more, but... Maybe I'll just make a second strawberry. I'll make one brown, one yellow. Uh, you would say the same, but you know yourself and you know Blue Moon. So you know the game will finish in a way that your curiosity will get the best of you to check Limbus. Yeah... <sighs> Fair... Yeah... Yeah... I hate that you're right. <laughs> because that curiosity really is just... what got me to buy a library and keep going with it. The strawberry looks good? Question mark? Okay, well... It's... It's... It's coming. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. <sighs> and, uh, I am not loving it. There's something about it I'm just not too fond of yet. I think I might have gone the color wrong. Linda, blame the color. Or blame the dots on being too big. Which is entirely possible. Yeah, I do think I made the seeds too big. Oh, maybe black? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, wait, I don't have black. I forgot. I have browns. smear it on. Take the other half. Still too big, but oh well. Or really dark green, almost black. 
or a really dark brown, almost black. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Well, this right here, this is the darkest I have. So I did lighten it up a little bit. So now it's more this color. And maybe I should have stuck with the darker. Maybe the dark would have looked better. It is not focusing very well. Well, we can make another strawberry, so... I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go with this. Because I can't really pull these out. They're just kind of in there now. You know, eventually I'll get a streamer account for Minecraft. It is 30 bucks though. It's like, uh, do I really need to play Minecraft on stream? But it would be so much fun to actually think of like a really big project to do with you guys. Or even just to work on on stream. Because I kind of need that motivation to actually finish a big project. Because I could probably think of something on my own. Oh my gosh, yeah, these seeds are just too big. This is like a very, very seedy strawberry. Mm, hard to say because that brown doesn't seem that dark, so it seems to give off more of a wood color. You're not that good at manual stuff, so you could be totally wrong. It might just be that it's... I think the seeds are too big. I think the issue is that I made the seeds too big. So, uh, you know what? I'm gonna pull them out. I don't like it. I'm not happy with them. I'm not gonna be happy with the final product. Better just scrape them out now. It's just, it's gonna take pink with it, but it's okay. We'll add more. Add more and redo. This is when I wish there was an undo button for the real world, but there's not. Tell me music where you put the strawberry close. Ah, uh, yes. The totally not dead strawberry. See, look how pretty it is. Yay! <laughs> Okay, I need to reshape it now, because I did scrape off a good bit. Yes, joy to the world, the strawberry has come. A side note, how long to beat says Lob Corp takes 61 in library room and it takes 118. Oh no. It's gonna be a year. It's gonna be a year. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gonna take so long to get through that. Oh man. Especially since I do not go through it fast. I know I left my Lobcorp on overnight a few times just because grinding. Grinding in levels and stuff off stream, but oh man. I think my lob court ended up being close to a hundred hours of actual like playtime, I think. Okay. I think that strawberry shape is pretty okay. I think that's pretty good. Okay, well, it is time for our three minute break once more. And then we will make new seeds. Even smaller. Or fewer larger. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, three minute break time. 
So get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do, and I will see you guys again in three minutes. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right. So I was thinking about the strawberry and I'm kind of thinking maybe just indents for the seeds because I need the dots to be so, 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 so small for them to actually look good. And I do think this color is wrong too. Yeah, I, I messed up on the color. So I'm just gonna shoo. Go little brown log, collect all your tiny bits. And the 61 hours must be for the ending A eh? cause 123 hour completionist. Yeah, I believe that. I would definitely believe that. Just especially since I didn't really have to do a day one reset until the very end. Just for the abnormality stuff. It wasn't as long of a run as it could have been, but it certainly wasn't short. Library of Ruin Completionist is 164. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're going to be playing that forever. Oh my goodness. It's a good game, but my goodness.
I was like, wait a minute, I thought you had a super, super tiny ball tool. I do, it's just... <sighs> I have to go get it. Okay, I will be right back. I have some more tools I need to go grab. I actually have them in my nail painting stuff, and it's it's actually the, the tool that I used to do these. That I'm going to go grab. But as long as I clean it off, it should be fine to use for both. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. See, so I have this little package of these. Of these tiny little ball tools. If I can get it open. My goodness. So, I'm just gonna take them all out of the package so you can see them a little better. But like, look how small these are. This one's basically just a needle. With like a tiny little tip on the end. But I think these will be better. So, I'm actually thinking, maybe not the smallest, but the second to smallest. So just this one right here. Oh, come on, gamer, you focus for a second. But do you see how tiny that is? Yeah, I think we're gonna use this. Put the rest back in the package for now.
better. I think they look quite a bit better, so. Even though they are a good bit simpler as well. Just kind of make him a little bit more random here at the bottom. There's a weird little dark dot there, so I'm just going to turn it into a seed. There we go. Okay, you know, I think if we really, really want to get through Library of Ruina, like, fast, I'd probably have to do just a week of library. Like, all right, this is library week. This is all we're doing every day, all day. But I would, I'd probably hate the game by the end of it, to be honest. As is, it's just gonna take a long time. Okay, there we go. There's our little strawberry. A little pockmarked. 10% weak, let's go. Oh gosh. Yeah, let's let's just get through 10% of the game. <laughs> uh. Oh no. no. I'll, I'll consider doing that when I actually get to the end game. It seems great. It seems like a great way to lose my Sandy. And look, it even works as a thing to roll out. Slabs like a little rolling pin. Yay! What a great tool. Okay. I think I'm gonna add the tops now. <gasps> Did I hear my cat? Did I hear my kitty cat outside? Oh, seems great for the strawberry, okay. Kitty cat. That's... I thought I heard kitty cat, but I was being deceived, lied to. And we're back to the start of the playlist again. Oh well, at least they're instrumental, so it's not... It's not too annoying. I'm definitely gonna have to find more Christmas songs, though. Definitely gonna have to find more, like, Christmas wintry songs. Because I... I cannot listen to the same ones. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. All month. Not every time I go to a hand game. Which I think they are going to be more common this month. Just because there are a lot of things I want to make. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for people's presents yet, but... The stuff that I make is... Definitely... Definitely possible for presents, because... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to get people. <laughs> Shopping's hard. And at least when I make something personalized, and they're like, Oh my gosh, you made this for me? I'm like, yeah, I made this for you. And people seem to like that better. Money makes everyone happy. I don't have money to share. I... I do not. But then people start adding math to it. Are you talking about taxes? Dang, government. Turnip boy would have something to say about that.
Okay. So there's our little top so far. It's a little big, but I think it's cute. Gotta be careful not to slice my own finger open. Oh, you're talking about if everyone gives money, then even if you don't want to, you start comparing quantities. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I prefer to just avoid that in general. Because, like, oh, well, someone so gave me. Give me $20 or, oh, well, I got 50 for this other person, clearly. Yeah, no, I just, I don't like that. Especially, especially when I have a lot of family that doesn't have a lot of money. It's like, if they did just give cash stuff or stuff that I know is expensive, it's like, why are you guys doing this? You should not be spending this money on me. You should be spending this on yourself and your necessities. Handmade presents are the best. It shows the person spent time for you. Mm hmm. The hard part is knowing what somebody would want. So let's squish the seed. Just gotta reshape it a little bit. There we go. I think I want to add some more to the top, but it's looking a little tomatoey right now. <laughs> if it wasn't for the seeds, it'd be like a weird pink tomato. Handmade <laughs> money. Oh gosh. That's called counterfeit. <gasps> Here, I made this money for you. It's just painted on. It should still work, right? I totally made it look like Abe Lincoln. It's legal, yeah, yeah. At least to give them what they want. What? With the handmade money? <laughs> and it's handmade best of two in one. Mm -hmm. Just gotta make sure the government doesn't catch ya. They don't take kindly to handmade gifts. Not like that, anyway. You know, I guess there is some kinds of handmade money that are socially acceptable. Or at least it's socially acceptable for kids to give these to other people. And that is like little gift vouchers. Like, oh, redeem for one back massage. I feel like it's another one where it's okay for like spouses and such to give those to each other too because like they're kind of like money right or redeem for one candlelight dinner
we took we took the leftover broth and we made more soup out of it so that was really good but it was just it was so much it was so much money okay got my fingers more or less wiped off and now now for the wings always hurts when it's expensive yeah and then also tipping culture is horrible over here in the states i hate tipping culture in general but the price should just be part of the price Ugh. i just i want it gone i want tipping culture to be gone dead buried and never to return It just, it just needs to go. Okay, I think I'm going to make the wings not quite pure white. I'm just going to dull them down a tiny little bit. Last time you went to some place more or less expensive, you were lucky to get almost 50% discount. Has a hundred pounds in the end. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. How expensive was that? That is crazy. But 50% off is fantastic. But uh, man, even just even just grocery shopping is pain. Oh, you were many, many, many people. That makes sense. Around 10 people, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I could. I could see how that'd get very expensive very fast. So I have this little tool. It kind of looks like a little clamshell, almost, or like a little scallop. Scallop shell? I think it's even called like a scalloping tool. I might try that for the wings. I think that could be really cute. You thought you were going to spend expo on every, but when you divide everything equally by everyone and applied the discount, you ended up spending even less. Nice. Ah, oh, that's always such a good feeling. Like, well, I was prepared to spend this much, but you know, if it ended up being less. Oh, darn. Eh, okay. That turned out, that did not turn out as cute as I thought it would. I'll just make the wings manually. Yeah. I'll just make feathers. Hope tipping culture ends there. Even if you go someplace like that, you will not tip. Mm-hmm. It's horrible. It's horrible. It has no purpose. It's only still alive because people are like, oh, but but if you don't tip the servers, then they won't get enough money. It's like, we should just pay the servers more. That should just be part of their paycheck. Or like, oh, but if you don't tip the servers, what if you won't get good service? It's like, that's just their job. It's just their job. I hate it. It's so stupid. It's like, I worked retail. I always had to put on a smile even when I didn't want to and I didn't get tips. Ugh. Why should it be any different just because you're at a restaurant? Here, you tip only for like a bonus if you want. For something like a 17 pounds, you can give 20 pound bill. It's more like not wanting the coins and being happy with the service. Yeah, I get that. That is pounds, right? I am so bad with, with foreign currency. I want to make sure I'm saying that right. 
Yeah, it's just when it becomes like mandatory tipping that is. It sucks. It's. Ugh. Ugh. It's like, yeah, people don't want to see higher prices. Just because obviously that's where the money that they normally expect in a tip would go, but. Not having to, you know, think about that extra money. Oh, euros. I'm so sorry. Okay. My bad. Sorry, Flo. Okay, euros. Uh, I promise main places are scamming tourists and to think of that tipping is mandatory. Uh, probably especially American tourists, right? You're not obliged to know every currency. It's, I feel like that one's something I should know, though. It really feels like one I should know. <laughs> but I don't. I have no idea what the conversion rate is. So, you know, that's that's fun. I definitely have to look that up. Okay, I feel like I'm making these too big, but... I also don't know how big the feathers should be. Because they need to be at least slightly robust. You only know the euro is a bit higher than the dollar or nothing more. Chrissy! Welcome, welcome! Six months. Wow. It's been six months. How's it going? <laughs> We're talking about how terrible kit how terrible tipping culture is. What's your take? <laughs> also, I am making a little Celeste strawberry for Owl. For his Christmas tree. It's a super tiny Christmas tree. A super tiny Christmas tree that I think is cute. Okay, work soon. Tipping excuse. Yeah, exactly. Tipping excuses criminal underpayment. And that. Yes. Yes. And then. And then they blame the customers if. If the servers and other workers don't get a proper paycheck. Like, oh, it's your fault because you didn't tip enough. It's like, no, the establishment should just pay their workers more. It should be a business like any other. Well, good luck with work. What day of your work week are you on? Okay, I think we have enough for the feathers. Right, every employee should be obliged to pay minimum decent qual- uh, Every employer should be obliged to pay minimum decent qual- Quantity to their workers, yeah. Ooh, day one of the work week. Okay, good luck! Good luck! Good luck with the night shift stuff. I know that's no fun. attempt to put a wing together. See if I can make it look half decent. I feel like most people feel like tipping culture should die. I just don't know how we're actually gonna get it there. Because it's it's very much an ingrained cultural thing. And unless people either just stop tipping in general, it's just not going to change. 
and employers don't want it to change because, you know, they just get to charge less or they get to pay their people less. It's like, how do you, how do you change that? Here we have minimum salary for full-time jobs. Well, there is obvious, um, there is obviously minimum wage here as well. It's just that because of tipping, um, in some places, well, probably in most restaurants, um, the servers especially, who usually get the most of the tips, they get paid less and are expected to supplement the income with the tips they get. And then those are taxed and everything too, of course. Or at least they're supposed to be taxed. But employers just use that as, use that as an excuse to charge or to pay their people less. My goodness, I keep using the wrong words. It's like, how do we change it? Because on one hand, there's the legislation route, which I don't know if would actually work very well. Of you just make tipping you either legal or you make it so that even servers and other jobs that rely on tips no longer are allowed to rely on tips. So make it so that the employer has to actually pay them properly. I feel like that actually might might be the best solution. Just make it so that it's like, hey, you actually have to pay a living wage to your people. Shocking. Uh, the tip is going to the employee and not the employer, right? Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, yes, the tip should be going to the employee. Um, but... Especially with electronic payments? Who knows if that's actually happening? You believe that is the root? Uh, what I was just saying about people getting underpaid? Because, yeah. It's like, that's why people aren't willing to stop tipping. Especially because they hear of, like, friends who used to work as servers being like, well, I always tip 20% because I remember being a server and, you know, 20% is just, you know, better for the server. Because I think... Well... The law is actually set up horribly so that the the IRS expects a 10% tip and so it actually taxes it taxes the server by that 10% expected. I don't remember how much they take of it, but that's why a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, you should tip to like 15 or 20%." It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. All tips should go to the employer that can decide what to do with that amount and at the same time he should be obliged to pay the minimum wage. Hmm, I don't know. Because a lot of the time the tip is... It's meant to be. IRS, there is a 2%. Yes, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, uh, they have their hands in everything, of course. And they, they tax servers based on their expected tips. So yeah, yeah, ain't that fun. But I can't go into too much detail because I haven't looked super far into it, so I don't know so I don't know the details. Other than it is a very, very messed up system. 
That's stupid for the IRS? Well, the reason that they did is because that is how people were getting their wages. And it was effectively just people getting paid under the table. And the IRS does not appreciate people getting paid under the table because it means that they do not get their part of the pie. So. But unfortunately, the IRS stepping in just kind of made it worse. So, you know. Fun stuff. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. What's a more fun topic to think about? <laughs> You know what? Is this going to be too big of a wing? I feel like this is going to be too big. Oh yeah, for sure. That is way too big. I just started making stuff without thinking about the size. I think it needs to be thicker too. Well, I'll be adding feathers onto it. I just want to have a nice little backing piece. Instead of assuming a percentage of tip, you only need to add a new field to the re to the rec receipt payment with the tip category. Well, the thing is that a lot of people get cash tips and they get left on the table. So you're not always going to have that. And then also if it's it's very much an incentive thing. If people are not penalized for reporting all of their tips, then they won't report them because it's just income that they're not getting taxed on. So. Yeah. Let's see, I think that's about the right size. Not the right shape, but I think the right size. We need we need strawberry with the wings now. So I think maybe more of a trapezoid shape. Where it kinda goes out a little bit and then gets thinner again at the tip. Maybe have to shape up a little. Maybe more like that. Just moving it at the top. Oh, that's pretty cute. I think it will just be super fragile though. I probably need to make it so that the wings can actually wrap around. As a crime I found should be considered as such. Yeah, but people do stuff like that all the time. I should not assume everyone's committing a crime and therefore put percentage for everyone. Um that's just how it does. That's just it's just people though. But yeah, tipping culture should die. It's ugh. It's just ugh. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do these wings. I want the wings. I want them to be cute. But... I feel like they are not... Not looking the way I want them to. still needs feathers, but I'm just trying to look at the base shape right now. I don't know, there's just something about these that I do not like. Why? Why do I not like them? What is wrong? Okay, what if I just pattern the feathers directly into this? 
What if I made those other feathers for nothing? More like that. Actually, I think this is gonna work better. Oh no! I made the other fe feathers for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That cute. Okay, I'll make another one of these. And maybe put like some tiny feathers on it. Okay. Come on. And it is unfortunate because even people that I thought would try to uphold the law and like be be a lawful citizen and pay people properly, they didn't. They paid their employees under the table so that they wouldn't have to pay extra money to taxes and other things. And unfortunately, a lot of people have the mindset of, oh, well, I only have to pay it if I get caught. And yeah, yeah. I, I am definitely not saying I was ever in one of those positions where I was the person getting paid under the table because that would be illegal. And in that hypothetical situation, I was definitely an employee who still reported all of my income and just reported as self-employed. That's definitely what happened. I mean, definitely the hypothetical situation here. Ha ha ha. Iris, please don't get mad at me if you ever see this. I swear I pay my taxes. Other people might not, but I try. I try to be good. Okay. Ah! Okay, one wing is a little better than the other one. <laughs> Any tax evasion jokes are purely, purely jokes and are not to be taken seriously. Ha ha ha! One, two, three, tax evasion! <laughs> trouble for having this VOD up on YouTube. Woo! This might be a VOD that disappears for some completely random, random reason. Ha ha ha! Something that would never hypothetically happen if you were paid correctly in that hypothetical situation. Exactly! Exactly! And in that purely hypothetical situation, it definitely wasn't me being taken advantage of when I was fresh out of high school and not knowing how stuff worked or why somebody would really want to do that. Completely hypothetically, of course. And then I would have actually, hypothetically, this hypothetical girl in this hypothetical situation would have actually made the money that she was paid rather than less because she was hypothetically getting paid under minimum wage because it was under the hypothetical table. And so her hypothetical boss definitely definitely wasn't thinking like, oh, I can pay under because, you know, it totally balances out because this hypothetical person 
definitely isn't gonna you know report these as to the IRS. No, no, that would never happen. Oh, I want this wing out just a little bit more. This little feather. worried about these wings falling off though. I think I might squish them down a little bit more. Yeah, these are probably going to be the first thing to break. I think I need to blend it in just a little bit, but I want to be careful not to make it look too, well, blended. Definitely getting fingerprints on this one. I am going to curve these in, I think. They might end up looking a bit more like horns, but I think they'll be a little bit more protected that way. rather than sticking straight out. Okay. So, it's not great. I think it's okay for now. Um, I do want to kind of pattern the wings a little bit more. It's hard to see, but there's not really much texture on them. They seem to be flexing, yeah, it's, it's a strong strawberry. <laughs> so, I'll add a little bit more texture. Yeah, uh, I think I made all these feathers for nothing. It looks really nice. Oh, thank you. Okay, I think this is nail time. Actually, I'm going to pull it in a bit, but maybe just the knife. For some nice sharp lines. Especially on this left one. And then I need to turn it around and make sure I do this to the other side as well. Okay, that's the back. Back of the knife. 12 more of those. A level of main character and you're finished. Oh gosh. I don't think I'll make Celeste, but I was thinking of making Padaru. Um, is she a sanctified... Sanctified Saber from the Fate series. And she hunts every Christmas, and I thought it would be hilarious to have her on the tree. I had a tiny little 3D printed one of her, but I can't find her anywhere. I was looking before the stream because I thought it would be hilarious. 
but I couldn't find her. I think my lights are flickering. I hope you guys aren't seeing that on camera. Okay, I'm just trying to make the feathers into slightly more points. This top feather is a little awkward looking, I think. Little, little silly. Oh gosh, I'm trying to pinch it. It's just not really working. Another item consumed by the house. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll spit it out. Maybe one day. Maybe if I'm lucky. Theoretically, I could just print out another one, but it's just kind of a bit of a pain of a print. And I don't really have the 3D printer set up well right now. So, oh, did the camera just flicker? It's not fun. Okay, I think I'm going to call that good enough on the wings. I don't I don't love them, but I do think they're gonna be good enough. So there's the other side. I probably need to retexture the uh the scenes. Few of these kind of got sucked back in. So I'm just gonna try poking those really quick on my manhandling. Oh, my manhandling closed them up. See it like right there. And I'm trying to not mess anything else up. Okay. I think I'm just gonna call that one good for now. I don't think there's much else I can do to it. That one just mess it up more, so. <sighs> Except the wing sizes are very different. Gosh darn it, okay. Okay. I'm just gonna squish this one out a little bit. a little bit out and down out and down it'll be almost the same size and then I can pretend I'm happy with it just gotta be careful not to undo all those seeds I just redid and some of these feathers are definitely different sizes than the other one it's fine, it's fine. Ha 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 ha. Totally fine. I'll just be going on trees, not like anybody will look at it closely, right? Right? Be like, hmm, these feathers, they they look a little weird. I definitely wouldn't notice every time I see the tree, right? 
Ew, no. I'm sure that would never happen. Okay, I think that's slightly better. It's... It's not perfect. I'm gonna call it better, though. Although, now I have to retexture, so... I think the other side started off being my less favorite. Oh, how the tables have turned. Oh well. It's fine. It's it's a little derby. It's a little derby. That's just how these things are, right? Okay. Camera battery's at 44%. It is 3.30. Uh, should I? Should I try one more? Should I try one more quick-ish one? I'm a little... Because unfortunately I am on a little bit of a time limit tonight. How fast? Oh, okay. It's also almost time for a three minute break. So I gotta choose really fast. I can make a Santa hat. Ooh, a star. A star. A star. I can make a star really fast. Okay, so we are gonna do our three minute break a little early. So get up, get a drink, get to the restroom, do whatever you need to do. I will see you guys again in three minutes and then we're gonna make a star and probably call it there for today. I was really hoping to get through more of these little charms, but it's okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, and you find the thing. Ah. Okay.
pop, 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 pop. Okay, we're back. Boom. All right, so I am looking and I will probably have to do this one pretty fast. So I got out just a little bit of white. Why did I get out more white? I already have white. What am I doing? Anyway, I'm going to be making a pale yellow. I'm thinking a... Actually, no, no, not a pale yellow. A tiny, tiny bit of orange in the yellow. I want to make like a little gold color. Because I want to make a cute little star. Very simple, but cute. So, I'm just gonna mix this right in here. It's going to be very neon, so I might have to add something just a little darker. Just so I'll kind of make it fit a little bit better. Because that is... It is very bright. 8.5 star 5. I was thinking 5. Just for like a little classic star look. I could probably turn it into like a little Mario star. That'd be pretty cute. It would be a very, very simple one if I did that. Okay, I do think that's a pretty good yellow. And it's a little hard to tell the color because it is just very bright. But I think it's pretty good. So, just gonna... Skish. Oh, okay. Well, it's on the block. <laughs> Didn't really want it on the block this time, but that's okay. Dark Suicide Blue Mario movie start. I'm I'm not recalling that one. Oh wait, before I do this, I need to make a new wire. No, oh, this one's really sharp on the end. Whoops. It's hard to see, but it's got like a little point on there. Uh, I did see the Mario movie, but I don't remember anything about a star like that. I mean, some people were also praising the movie like crazy, and I thought it was just kind of okay. But, I mean, it was also a kid's movie. Oh, the Luma? Do you mean the Luma? Okay. Okay, yeah, no, that was a Luma. That's... that's not a Mario star. <laughs> Lumas are different. And I could make a Luma. That may take a little bit more time. And I would definitely have to pull up a little reference sheet. I'm just gonna make a very quick little star. And I need this to be in. In and cute looking. Okay, there we go. Pretty good little latch, I think. It's not great. Could have worded it better. Yeah, it's fine. I know that most people wouldn't know, so. So describing it as a Mario star does make sense. I think I made this too flat. It's too flat. Yeah, not star close, but not quite one. Hmm. You know what? I could just make a little yellow luma. Let me pull up a picture really quick. Mario Luma. Oh, 
Okay, so it's kind of got like a little teardrop body and then with a little limbs sticking out of it. I'm going to need more yellow, I think. <laughs> well, it'll just be small. It'll be fine. Everything here is small. Okay, a little teardrop shape for the body. bit too tall. It needs to be a little fat. A little chum, chubby. Chubby boy. And then I'm gonna stick this in. You know what? The other one looks cuter, so. At this point, we'll just be going straight up the rod. The biscuit man was really small, was surprised how small he made it. I want them to be tiny. And he's a little gingerbread man. <laughs> I like things to be small. At first I was thinking, thumbnail size. He is slightly larger than thumbnail. Same with the uh, the strawberry. <clears throat> uh, it might be hard to taper this to a point. Oh well. Want to make sure he has a nice little rounded body. Nice fat chubby little body. Okay. I think that should work. It kind of looks like a pear right now, but that's okay. Alright, and now he needs four little cones for limbs. So I'll just separate this in half. And then again for that for quarters. Those are almost the right shape. Actually, if I just taper this one, I probably could make it the right shape. There's one little limb, and another little guy. I think Lumas are super cute. I remember absolutely adoring them when I first played Super Mario Galaxy. And then again in Galaxy 2. I want to replay those, but unfortunately my Wii is basically dead. Um, I can't read discs anymore, so I need to get repaired. I think the data on it's still okay, and I still have the game discs, but... I need to figure out how to actually repair the Wii. I think that'd be super fun to play on stream if I could, but... I still don't have a capture card. Although they're not too expensive, so I could probably... I think I saw a decent dish one for like 20 bucks. 
At least then I could play Switch games. And then just add even more to the library of G. I sure would love to play these with them for you guys, but you know, when's the time, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I made the limbs too big. Yeah, how big that is. It's huge. Huge. All right. I think I need to chop these in half again. Or maybe not quite half, just... Okay, no, that is about half. Oh, something I see all the time is like Mario Kart tournaments. It's like, oh, I want to join. But if I can't stream it, like, what's the point, right? I'm not the best Mario Kart player, but I very much enjoy the game. Well, the list of people I play with is pretty small, but I'm usually able to beat them. Even though I'm sure that if Al actually got used to the game and like found a cart combo he really liked, he'd probably beat me most of the time. Which is a little frustrating. It's like, gosh darn, you have every other game that you're good at. Can I at least have this one? <laughs> You also have it didn't play much. I grew up with Mario Kart. And so it's very much fun that I'm like, oh, I love it. It is my comfort game. And unfortunately, I just I don't play it as much as I. Well, I don't want to say should. No, these ones are still too big. They're almost right, but I think just tiny limbs on the loom is his best. So... Let's try this one more time. You know what? I'm gonna cut one of the bigger ones. one of these small halves to one of the other limbs and I'm chopping that in half and then I'm gonna do these in half again you have eight but since you don't have Nintendo online don't feel much play or much to play it um I did end up buying online definitely not the expansion pass that is not worth it but I do enjoy playing online. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be paying for it, but I don't know. With the family plan, I have quite a few other switches on my account. And it's just, it's a lot more economical than having everybody buy it. So I figure, eh, I can just eat the extra cost. It's it's not that much per year. It is a decent chunk, but if it lets my brother and other people play online without issue, then, you know, it's worth it. And then when I do want to play like Mario Kart online, I can. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think that's the right size for the limbs. Even this feels a little big. I don't think I'd keep making him smaller, but... I feel like even more nubbins should be it. Even more nubby! Okay, I do feel like they're about right for the legs, though. You'd pay it, uh, but you know it's going to be used rarely, so you don't see much of the point for it now, at least. Yeah, that's completely fair. Um, oh no. 
you do get access to the catalog of the older games as well. So if you do want to play like some of those NES or I don't I don't know if they have many N64 games on there, but like if you do want to play some of those really old ones, you can. I don't think there's a ton of really good ones on there yet. But they are slowly adding them at least. I have a feeling it's one of those things where it's just going to become a better deal later on. Just, again, nod the expansion pass. Because the expansion pass is just, ugh. It's way too expensive. Uh, for you, that's the most appealing. That Zelda and Mario. They ate it at least the last time you had it. We ate what? I mean, I agree. Um, Zelda and Mario are are the two franchises that I kind of pay the most attention to as well for Nintendo. Wait, only eight games? Well, there's a lot more now on there. Um, they do have like the original home Earthbound. Earthbound. They have the original Earthbound game. I did start it, but it just, it did not hook me. <laughs> I tried. I think it's just harder for me to get into really old games now because I'm used to like modern UIs and, and quality of life stuff. And time to get this little limb on the little guy. Oh, darn it. My nails are starting to get too long again. When I'm trying to pinch this in, it's hitting. I'll definitely have to trim them down more when I go to redo my nails. I'm not going to do it yet because they're so pretty. <laughs> I have a hard time redoing my nails until they're like really, really chipped. Because like until they're, until they're not pretty anymore, I want to keep them nice. Bad UI and controls of old games made it mandatory for you to get good even if you only want to play a little. Yeah. I feel like that's another thing where it's like, if I was playing on stream, then I would have more patience for something than if I was just playing for my own free time. Like I started playing Diablo 2 with my brother, which is very much a nostalgia game for us. Okay, there's a little Luma body. Now he just needs eyes. Uh, he's gonna get dark brown eyes because that's all I got, so. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like he's really dirty though. Just from the clay that was on my hands and everywhere else. I think you can see a little dark specks and stuff on him. It's unfortunate. It's like, when I was a kid, I didn't think of Diablo 2 as having clunky controls at all, because, you know, I didn't I didn't know any better. Oh, here we go. I have, like, this kind of ray against that. It's like a brownish gray. It'll be fine. Just gonna roll out a tiny little bit. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I'll just pull out the silver. I think that'd look better. Uh, I do have some in here, so I'll just pull that out. It might be mixed with something else, but eh, it's fine. It looks pretty much just silver, so... Just a little bit. A little bit for two tiny little eyes. For a tiny little Luma. Well, big eyes on the tiny little Luma, but you know. I know details. One tiny little dot. I'm going to not try to over squish. Uh, the eyes are more ovals, so I am trying to not have them be super round, and I am trying to keep them little ovaly bits. Oh, these are going to be too big. So right now they're like the size of a tiny sprinkle. I think it's going to be way too big when I put it on. Because... It's like, right now, it's the right size. <laughs> when I squish it out, it's going to be way too big. Details are everything. They are give they are what gives life to things. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Okay. two tiny little sprinkles. <laughs> you can just barely see them on camera. Gonna squish it down. And it's stuck to the table. Okay. That's okay. Come around from the side. Pick it up. I should really get some black clay. I definitely feel like it would make some of these projects a lot better. Okay. I'm just barely gonna slide it on to his other eye. There's our slightly dirty little Luma. I feel like he's a little skinny. He should have been fatter. Yeah, I feel like he's a little skinny for Luma. I don't know if I can really fix that though. Maybe I can like push his butt in a little. I don't want his legs to stand out too much, though. They definitely need to be short. Short and stubby little things. Uh, I need a different ball tool. I think this one. Slightly bigger. And this is the smallest of the largest ball tools. Or larger ball tools. If I need something smaller than this, I'll have to get into that other pack. Oh no, I squished his top. Ah, uh, I was afraid that was gonna happen. Oh no, 
I feel like I'm getting him underwear lines. Oh no. <sighs> okay, well, his his head's a little a little smushed now. Weirdly enough, I think he's kind of cuter this way now. <laughs> uh, smushed head and all. Poor little guy. He's like, even my creator thinks I'm cuter, all battered and bruised. It's okay, I'll fix you. I'll fix him. Some gave him brain damage. Oh, that someone was me. It's okay, I'll fix him. I can fix him. Okay, I kind of think I fixed the shape more or less. Now I'm just trying to kind of smooth out the the spots where I can see the ball tool, the tool paths. Oh no, I think there's a hair in his arm. Oh no. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Oh, darn it. Okay, little, little starting up an arm. Gotta make sure it's still pointing up because that just makes him look way happier. Happy little guy. Cute, happy little guy. He might not really look like a Luma, but he is pretty cute. All right, now I'm just going to take two tiny, tiny little white dots and then add them onto his eyes. Tiny little dots. The tiniest. The smallest. The I might have to scrape stuff up off of the... off of the desk again. <laughs> type. It will stick to my fingers. It's so small. I'm getting worm flashbacks from the succulents. Okay, cut that in half. Is that too small? Is that too big, actually? That should be the question. I think that's about right. Okay, I'm just gonna press it on. I'm doing it! Yeah, there's one. That's pretty cute. Okay. Now let me not lose the second one. <laughs> Hold around, try and get into a ball. I think I have too much clay on my fingers. Oh gosh. It's not really a ball. Oh well. as good as he's gonna get. He's a little scuffed, but 
I think that's our little Luma-ish. Totally not Nintendo. It's a Lumen, not a Luma. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, definitely distinctly different. He has gray eyes, not black. Okay. Uh, it's not copyright infringement. Okay. Again, it's a Lumen, not a Nintendo Luma. And just to show off once more for the camera before I go raid us out. These are the three creations from today. Funny enough, I think the first was the best and we just kind of lost quality as we went on. But that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. So we got the little strawberry. It is the most 3D out of all of them. We got a little Gingy here who does have a happy side and a sad side. And our little Lumen. It seems full of hope and ignorant to the real world. Oh. <laughs> yes, they are tiny. They are super tiny. And I keep losing tracking today. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put these guys aside. I am probably gonna make some more before I bake them. And I have clay under my fingernails. Wow, who would have guessed? <laughs> Ugh. Nasty. Oh, wait. Could fit 10 of those in one hand easily. Easily. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean up my nails after this. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna use a nail to clean up my nails. Mmm, nail cleaning. Oh yeah, this is what you guys are here for, right? Oh yeah. Just gotta get that, get that gunk out. Mmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't torture you with that. Much more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, again, tomorrow is gonna be Skyrim. We are attempting the randomizer challenge again. I think it'll be quite a bit faster. Is this the part where you leave? Uh, if you'd like, yeah. This is this is the part where I go find a raid. Or find someone for us to raid. I have no idea who's streaming right now. I probably have to find somebody new or just be like, oh no, we're not actually raiding today. Oh darn. Oh gosh, even more people are playing Lethal Company. That game is so popular right now. Um, I don't know. Can I be a bad VTuber and not raid today? <laughs> uh, seems like a good game to play with friends. Yeah, I think I'm planning on playing it with some friends this Sunday. So theoretically I'll be streaming that. I didn't put it on the schedule because it's not 100% set in stone, but it is a possibility. <laughs> Your choice I run when you end. Okay. <laughs> Noted. So theoretically that'd be four people raiding with me. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna end it today. I've got I've got stuff happening pretty heckin' soon after I end stream. It's basically gonna be I run to go try and find food and more drink, more drink, and maybe try and get this cleaned up, and then going straight into a effectively a meeting. So yeah, yay! <laughs> anyway, thanks again for joining, guys. I had a ton of fun today. I hope you guys did too. Um, I am definitely going to be streaming again tomorrow, starting at 12 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. EST, or 8 p.m. GMT. Uh, that is going to be Skyrim. It'll be fun. It'll be a ton of fun. It might be a four hour stream. It might be another 10 hour stream. I do not want that challenge to take 10 hours again. But it could. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, bye!